will set off a mystic ice blast to save humanity so they gotta move fast this brave team will enter the dragon land fears no option they've got to get the fire rock the superheroes are ready for battle using the special powers to get Save the whole planet The time has begun To save the world From destruction For superheroes are ready for the fight United they stand together Dynamite Nothing will ever stop them And the Dino Bros The Dragon Slayer This is the night of truth, General Vlad. This will be the night that we smoke out the traitor. <sighs> How can I help, Master? Ah, Vlad. The only one of my generals that I'm sure I can completely trust. Yes, my friend. Dragonfire, Spectral, and Silver Flash. I want them here now. I've been betrayed! Oh, my master, are you all right? Not now. The fog in my mind has returned to me. How's that? The fog? But what are you saying, master? I have what I would call visions. I feel the pain again so vividly. The humiliation. Back when my name was still Treek, and I was locked in a shimmering green prison without bars, but inescapable. Please continue, sir. There are machines, those follies of men, all around, and a man studying me. Don't worry, my lord. I will find the traitor. Do not speak of this. I would never, master. You can trust me. <laughs> of course, I'm sorry. I am your servant, powerful Drakemon. Yes. Of course. Now leave me. I must bathe in the holy fires. <sighs> we cannot tell him. In these situations, the messenger always takes the blame. Tom wouldn't be like that. I really think we should tell him. You saw them. Geno and Kara together, all snuggly. Huh? Uh, huh? You want to tell Tom his girl's smooching the enemy? Well, when you put it like that, it definitely seems like something I don't want to do. Your friend Johnny has a first-rate understanding of matters of the heart. Hey, you know, I remember you fellas. Hey, are you guys still hard at work on the dad don't worry mystery? I was just looking over the ink analysis. Hey. Don't you think you should tell them what you saw last night, Captain? Huh? Yeah, what did you do last night that we didn't see at all? Well, I actually saw... a girl. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tom. About what? Anyway, yeah, I saw a girl wearing modern clothes in the bushes. A girl with green eyes. Tom, who do you think that girl is? I have no idea. None at all. I mean, it was getting dark, but she definitely wasn't a native. You said she was wearing a gray uniform? Yeah, it almost looked like she was military of some sort. Well, I'm glad to see your appetite's all right. You have no idea, John. I'm starving. I'm not sure I'll ever catch up. Um, Eric, huh? what's this cave dude saying? Hold Oku. Well, he's saying he wants to hmm? challenge huh? you. Oh, I might be up for that. 
Bob, forget it. You're huh? still recovering. Huh? Are you kidding? I could take this guy blindfolded and hopping on one leg. You can tell Cave Dude he's got himself a challenge. Ugh! Oh, come on, what is that? The little pointy darts they use is blowgun ammunition. You have to hit the target at least two times in order to be the winner. Just you wait. Bob, buddy? I am so in the zone. You're holding your blowgun backwards. You don't think I know that? I'm just trying to psych him out. Was that a bullseye? Well, it wasn't a bullseye, but it was a dino's tail. All right, Bob will awesome come shot, up. Headzilla. Yeah. Way to go! <laughs> huh? <sighs> huh? Just hit the target, Bob. I'm focusing. Huh? Don't interrupt my mental process. Are you serious? It's not a target. It's a cake covered in chocolate frosting. I can almost smell it. It smells good. Awesome! That was nice shooting, cave dude. Put her there. Huh? huh? Hmm. Yeah, I just imagine a big chocolate cake. What are you doing over here alone? Hey, I'm working on my new book's blowgun challenge chapter. I'd say I can't wait to read it if I hadn't read your other books. And when exactly did my sweet and heroic little boy turn into such a big, unmitigated smart aleck? Dad, do you honestly think we'll make it home? Well, I promise you one thing, we won't stop trying. Hmm. Professor Warnell, your explanations are very interesting, but I do not share your sense of priorities. Sorry. Are you gonna tell me a viable plan to combat global warming with dragon skin cells isn't important, Stroker? Yeah, that's just gross. Look, without all your work, well, none of us would be here. You made all of this possible. But you must know we have larger plans for the dragon skin cell sunscreen. You mean your top secret Dominion project? Oh yeah, I know all about that. And you were actually able to understand all the data? I understood it well enough. Well enough to know that you're messing with powers you'll never be able to contain. I just remembered something really important I wanted to ask you about. Have you heard anything at all lately from your beautiful daughter, Professor? You leave my daughter out of this, Stroker. I will try to. But it's a dangerous world. I'm isolated with limited resources. My priority must be the protection of my projects. And those personnel who actively support the Double Delta Division. That I'm sure even you can understand. My mission might have ended in failure, but yours will end in disaster, pal. Why is it that the previous generation responds to the visionaries who build upon their work with petty jealousy? Thanks to the new, reliable time gate, soon, Tons of diamonds as big as walnuts will be transported to the present. The proceeds from the sale of those diamonds will make Double Delta Division a global power. Remind me about something again, Professor. What exactly was the return on the billions of dollars that it cost you to get your little Jurassic Eye operation up and running? Huh? How's that mystery coming, Eric? So, Eric, have you been able to figure out what kind of ink that was used? Well, as a matter of fact, I have. It's pretty rare, designed to last in harsh conditions. Is there any way to trace it further? Well, I might be able to come a little closer to locating the actual source of the ink. No way, is that the source? That or one like it, it's standard Jurassic Eye equipment. Well, I gotta say that sure does narrow it down. 
So a Jurassic I team member wrote it. Is that it? That's right. Stop, open up, quick! What's up? Is it time for lunch? I wish, but we have a problem. One of the villagers just told us a nearby village is under attack by dragons. Huh? <gasps> Huh? Where was this place? On the way to the Forest of the Drums! Right there! We've got a trio of fighter dragons! Huh? And with humans! Um, all the dragons are flying away! That's because of him! They're giving the floor to the big guy! Dad, you know the drill. You see to the injured, we'll see to the super dragon. Roger that. Did this storm come from that dragon? He's just showing off. The watch says his name is Thunder Dragon. Species, dragon mutant, 50 feet long. That thing comes from so high up in the mountains, it's essentially become part thundercloud. It can shoot both fire and lightning usually from its wings. His special attack shoots fire and lightning together. I think I already know what kind of Dynafros I'm going to use this time. Oh, great Pyros, I have some burning questions. I hear you, General Vlad. Many dragons from all regions of the kingdom have gone missing, Great Pyrus. What do you want to know? Where are they? How did they disappear? I cannot answer directly, but I can say the fate of these dragons <gasps> is in your hands. Don't worry, Dino Flows. A little rain never hurts anybody. Alright, Captain, go out there and show that clown what real thunder looks like. Dino Froze Evolution! Here we go! Alright, Tom chose Gorilla. The Dinofro's closest to Tom's heart. <laughs> hey, did you make it rain? Pretty neat trick. Yes, I brought the rain. But more importantly, I also brought the pain. <laughs> Lightning was supposed to be faster. Uh, I'll show you what fast is. Dino froze. I've got to distract him and keep him from getting too close. Does the monkey know how to jump? <laughs> of ours, eh? Oh. oh, don't think you're getting rid of me that easily, dragon. Are you really not gonna riff on the dance metaphor? Yeah, I just remembered. I forgot to give you your corsage. I 
hate to say it, but I'm totally faster than you. Well, you're certainly louder, that's for sure. And I have a lovely singing voice. Yeah, Tom, sing him your hit song. This is dedicated to the dragon I'm about to decimate. This is dedicated to the big, fat, ugly dragon. Does the monkey want to play Dodge the Lightning? Does the dragon want to play Learn to Aim Better? I said! Huh? What happened? Thunder Dragon's absorbing the energy from the J-Truck. Fish heads. Your... Seriously? Come on! Move! Uh, guys, we have a no locomotion situation. Well, this is not good. The truck has no power. Tom is on his own. Look at the battered, broken little monkey man. Look at the dragon, all dumb and wet. Blame it's comeback ever, Tom. <laughs> Hard to keep up the banter, running for your life. Come out, come out, wherever you're hiding. I'm getting tired of this. Get out here. <laughs> Now I've got to get a monkey off my back. I'm not a monkey, I'm a gorilla. So you're not a dragon, you're nothing at all. No, that's just blue. I've had enough of this. Don't ruin fire. Eric, I can't hear you. Can you still hear me? Professor Carter, this is Eric. Please respond. Uh, doesn't most of this stuff require some electricity? Don't give up, guys. There's got to be a way to assist Tom outside. Gotta get off before he finishes me. You know this is where the story ends, Dino Froze, don't you? Oh. And I am the author of your ultimate destruction! What's that behind you, Thunder Dragon? You don't really expect me to fall for that, do you? Uh. Darn it! Where are you, Dino Froze? Uh. I can't see anything, but as long as Thunder Dragon keeps whining like that, I can track his position. I'm the one who finally takes you out, Dino Froze. I'll find you! Now! Special attack! Look! Devastating! Packages are down. We're gonna pick them up.
I was just beginning to worry about you. Too cool to call me? That's not it. But it is a long story. Help me get the wounded into the truck. Then you can tell me the whole thing. Huh? You dropped your notebook. You may need this to write your next book. Ah. So where's the usual dedication to your best friend? Something has happened to my best friend. He's done some things that aren't friendly. Come on, James. Is it a crime to be worried about your buddy? Nobody's heard from you. We all thought you might be in trouble. Why did you tell all of those lies to my son, Professor? I didn't know you wanted him to know everything. Some of this stuff is weird. I'm sorry, Professor, but I believe that's just one more lie on top of all the others. Have a nice day. Now wait a minute, James! What's happened to you? <sighs> Professor, we're aware you've had some friction with Stroker. Well, of course I have. That man's made out of sandpaper, and he loves to undermine my research. Your research, perhaps, but not his own, Warnell. All right, get to your point, Greta. Sorry, Professor, but it would appear that in the eyes of the Council, Stroker's star is on the rise, while yours falls. Huh? <laughs> we have a problem! What's up, Melston? Boldo is in serious trouble! Huh? <laughs> a group of boys were returning from a hunting trip when the path around the gorge collapsed. You should have gotten Geno. I couldn't find Geno. It's up to us. Boldo! I'm coming down for you. John will be right down. Just hold on. Careful, my trunk is very sensitive, Tom. Did you see me jump down like that? Awesome. Am I right? Rope coming. You put this around your waist just like I had it around mine, all right, buddy? Then we'll hook you up with this carabiner. Hmm? Hmm. Uh. Are you ready down there, John? Yes! Melston, tug away, big fella! Okay. <laughs> Cliffhanger rescue badge? Check. Huh? Excuse me, what are the two of you looking at? Whatever you do, don't turn around, John. Huh? <gasps> huh? No sudden movements. I don't want to be lunch. Me neither. John, we should split up. Boldo is too injured to run. You get Bulbo back to the village, John and I will keep our new friend occupied. You are aware that thing could eat you. That thing could eat me. I'm aware of that, Melston, but he won't be eating any of us. Of course, provided we're fast enough. Save the whole planet. 
Superheroes are ready for the fight. United they stand together, dynamite. Nothing will ever stop the Mother Dynamite.